Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Macon Campbell and this is Making Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how I built this forge. So first off, I'd just like to apologize if my lighting is terrible. It is almost 11 o'clock at night and I really want to get this video uploaded before tomorrow. So this was a very interesting build. I ran into quite a bit of problems while I was making this, but uh, all in all, I'm very happy with how it turned out. There are perhaps a couple of modifications that I'd like to make in the future, but uh, for now I'm going to use it like this and uh, see how it works. So I didn't show all the problems I ran into uh, while building this, otherwise this video would have been too long and I really felt like a shorter video, especially after that terribly long bed video that I just put out. But I can cover a couple of them before we get into this video. So firstly the plan I had at the back here didn't work out um, exactly as I intended. So the reason I made this hole over here which is exactly the same size as the chamber on the inside is I wanted to take these two bricks and cut out the parts that you couldn't see so that if you wanted to have the forge open on both sides could just switch the bricks around and you'd have a nice hole over there but every time i tried to make those cutouts i ended up breaking the bricks and i eventually ran out of bricks so these are the only two ones i had left that one also happened to break but uh, that turned out to be a happy accident because i noticed that the torch at the back kept on dying because i suspect it wasn't getting enough oxygen which is why this actually worked out quite well because now i can open up the back of the forge a little bit, let some air in and then this back torch tends to not die. Speaking of torches, I chose these specific torches for three reasons. The first reason being they are advertised as free rotation torches which means that according to the instructions after two minutes of preheating you can use the torch inverted which works out perfectly for this application. Second reason was these canisters and uh, this head was pretty cheap and lastly this was the only torch I could find. So for now I'm going to use it as is and make changes as I see fit. One upgrade I am particularly interested in doing is fabricating my own burner system that I can run off a small camping propane bottle. So but all in all it works great, I'm very happy with it and perhaps next week I'll try and forge something with it. So let's get into it.
So guys, thank you very much for watching. This was a very fun build and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of use out of this forge. Now I'm pretty sure most of you guys are capable of putting together something like this yourself. But uh, if there's anyone who thinks that I should perhaps upload plans on my website, just drop me some comments below and I'll do the best I can. So as usual, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I if you got any questions, put them in the comments below. If you'd like to support my channel, I have plans on my website as well as a Patreon. Uh, all the links in the description. And until next time, keep making stuff.